me and my buddies, we wrote the movie together, and uh, we had a great time. And uh, Gandhi uh, and, and a bunch of guys over at Sony had this great vision for the movie, and we all did it together, and we had a we had a great time. We did it did it mostly. I did it to make sure my kids like me. That's and and uh, mission is semi accomplished. It's a movie about love. Uh, you're a dad and a daughter loving each other, and him afraid to let go and and just it's a sweet story it's a sweet story but it, there is a lot of jokes in there and the kids have a good time well the story behind hotel transylvania is that dracula is a dad and he's a dad of a 118 year old girl who's ready to go out into the world she wants to go explore she wants to become her own person and it's really hard for any parent to let go never mind dracula who has a vampire daughter and she wants to go out into the human world, and he's terrified of humans. He's never had a good experience with a human. So it's really, that's the core of the story. That's the heart of the story. And then in comes this unlikely character, this human kid who's just a backpacker out there in the world. And he comes in and basically changes Dracula's life forever so Dracula can actually see that humans aren't so bad and that they can find a way to live with one another. So our cast is star-studded, as you know, and um, you know I think some of them are definitely here because they're friends of Adams, and they, you know, that we had great, such a great cast of characters that we could, um, that we could a lot to each of Adams' pretty close friends, and they all play so well off of one another that it just worked really well. It was, um, you know, who else could play better Frankenstein than Kevin James? You know, and he plays so well against Adam, who plays so well against David Spade and Molly Shannon and Fran Drescher. I mean, it was just, you know, Steve Buscemi. So it's a great cast of characters. We had really fun character designs to work with. And, you know, we found a character for everyone. And they all play off of one another. And, you know, suddenly you see these jokes come to life. And also with the emotion, you know, Adam is really amazing at um, sort of doing the range of high highs and low lows, and all of them playing off of one another really helped that out as well. Well, I mean, I think there's something in it for everyone. There's really fun characters. The animation's amazing. The story's great. We have a really strong emotional story, and we have a great comedy. So I think there's something in it for everyone. You know, there's some potty humor, but then there's also some really um, more adult humor that, you know, an adult can appreciate. A kid may, may or may not get. So it's just fun. It's intimidating, to be honest. I was really nervous because they're incredible. They're some of the greats. So like me coming in and doing my little lines, I definitely felt intimidating. That's why I love it, though. Honestly, it is one of those scripts. It's one of those movies it's, that kind of draws in everybody. You know, it's, it's, it does, like I said before, have some of the greats. So it just brings that element of really amazing timing of, of some of the best comedic. So it's good. She was a teenager, you know, a typical teenager go, growing up, trying to experience independence and freedom. And being a girl, also being like, daddy's girl it's like hard to kind of let their little girl go so I think that's the center of her character is really just the average teenager everybody experiences it they're just vampires <laughs> it's funny you know it's funny people can enjoy it, it it's a feel-good movie especially for father and daughters I, I think it's a great film so hopefully they'll enjoy it <laughs> It's a story about an overprotective dad who will not let go. And as the father of three daughters, uh, I kind of, it, it hit home. And Sandler's got two daughters, so we were always, we, 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 were, we were excited to make a movie that our daughters would really love. He, he brings a lot of humor to Dracula. Uh, but it's funny, he really brings this very warm, fatherly feel to this m monster. You know, there's so many comedians, uh, David Spade, just everything he says makes me laugh. Uh, Selena, as the daughter, was just the home run of all home runs. My daughters actually said to me the other day, they go, Daddy, how did you get Selena Gomez in your movie? And I said, well, we got lucky. And uh, CeeLo came in, he added, I mean, just such a great sounding voice. And as the mummy, I think you can see the mummy behind me over here. Kevin James. I mean, we had a lot of comedians, and then a, uh, the other people just kind of went with the flow. Fran Drescher. I've loved Fran Drescher forever. We were so excited to get to work with her. And Steve Buscemi, of course, 
you know, I would always laugh. I'd be like, oh, what award are you going to pick up after this recording session, Steve? Yeah, but he's, he loves comedy, and uh, it just everyone wanted to have fun, and it, it was really fun to have all those people just enjoying each other and, and making it as fun as possible. Well, Dr. Luke brought up the opportunity and broke down the story of the movie and the cast and was like, yo, do you want to do the theme song for it? We can do a remix to your song, Problem. And I was like, yo, I'm so in. Let's do this. So it happened that way. Will I Am is featured on the song, and he was so in for it. We shot the music video. Everything came out awesome, and I'm just really, really happy to be here.